First, measure the appropriate length of Everstick A plus O for the anchorage. Then open the foil pouch and slide out the silicone sleeve containing the fibre bundle. Cut the desired length of the fibre bundle and silicone sleeve with sharp scissors. Finally, protect the cut fibre bundle piece from exposure to light, using a light shield for example. First, clean the areas on the teeth to be bonded with pumice and water. Then, after cleaning, rinse with water and air dry the teeth. Etch the bonding surfaces of the teeth with orthophosphoric acid. The etched area should be large enough for the full length of the fibre bundle and overlying composite. Interproximal spaces should be etched too, and the etching time should be long enough for optimal bonding. Rinse and dry the tooth surfaces. Keep the area dry before applying adhesive resin. Note the appearance of properly etched enamel. Apply bonding agent over the whole area of the etched enamel. Light cure as the bonding material manufacturer recommends. Add a continuous thin layer, 0.5 mm, of flowable composite over the fibre anchorage. You can also apply a flowable layer directly onto the surfaces of the teeth. In this case, the dentist wanted to be sure there weren't any air bubbles left between the tooth and the anchorage. Do not light cure the composite layer at this point. Adapt the fibre bundle onto the tooth by pressing it down with a hand instrument. A stick stepper was used in this case. At this point, light cure for only 5 to 10 seconds on each tooth. Cover the anchor with a layer of composite and make sure it's totally enclosed. Light cure for 40 seconds on each tooth. Two light curing units were used in this case to speed up the process. A bracket was bonded onto the anchorage and light cured. Another layer of composite was applied over it to reduce possible plaque retention. The dentist was satisfied with the end result and emphasised the importance of retaining a good cleaning space between the teeth.